Oh oh. Oh no! But it's just so beautiful. We love the energy of town. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, there's like touristy stuff, but it just still like it. It just makes it so much more lively. So behind us is the Royal Hawaiian Center. A lot of upscale stores, but it's always fun to walk through. And uh, yeah, we also have a food court as well. <laughs> but we're not gonna eat there. We're gonna go look for someplace else. the Hilton Hawaiian Village. But yeah, so I'm looking up because there's a few different ways to walk. So I'm trying to find the shortest distance. So we're cutting through a park right now. Finished getting coffee, get something to cool down from our walk at Island Vintage. They're doing a great job with contact tracing. So if you're to sit in the cafe, you just have to jot down on a little clipboard there with your name, where you're staying, room number, if it's a hotel. If you're a resident, then you have to put your address. That's how they're keeping track of where people are, just in case if there's a positive test amongst the Island Vintage location. Time to walk around the hall. Looking for Uniqlo is a pretty awesome store. A special thing is that they have special collection items that are only found here in Hawaii. I was hoping to look to get was the bus. The bus is uh, one of the top rated public transit system and, and it's been awarded uh, for a couple years. And so it gets you around the island and uh, it's a really great uh, transportation system, the bus and bummer that we didn't get to snag a shirt. It yeah. sold out. They have tons of other really cool ones, but we really just wanted the bus one because we love the bus. And the bus is so safe and so awesome and quiet. So that's okay. Next time. 
<laughs> Continue our adventure. Into the Beaky Beaky bikes. Um, pretty simple to to register. You just put in your info, credit card, debit info, and then once you're done, it gives you an access code. You type in the access code into the little mechanism that's attached to the bike rack. Once you get the green light, then you pull out your bike and you're on your way. So it's 30 minutes four dollars and any additional minute it's a uh, 450 after that 30 minutes so four dollars to start 450 to start to uh, continue here's heather we're headed to the aloha tower we haven't been there before um, so we're trying to get there as fast as we can uh, bear with me. A lot of traffic on the road for Monday. And uh, yeah, didn't find anything at the mall. But it's all about the adventure, checking out new places, checking out old places, just enjoying the day. Because we're in Hawaii. And uh, nothing beats being outside. Fun fact is that Heather actually applied once to the school behind us is Hawaiian Pacific University. You may or may not know that we've almost moved to Hawaii a few times, but this was the time that we got the closest to moving, so I applied for a position at this university and they offered me the job and then just things didn't work out so we didn't end up moving. Um, we, pulled, we pulled out on our end format. Um, but yeah, so I had never seen the campus <laughs> prior to us, so now we went to go check it out. And we've never been to the Aloha Tower. Yeah. It's actually a, kind of a trek to get here. It's best if you have a vehicle or if you rent bikes like we did, or maybe even the bus too. Um, so, but definitely check it out. It's really an awesome campus. If I were to go back to college, this would be something pretty cool because you have pretty much a view of the harbor right in front of the campus. bike ride to Aloha Tower it was time to get lunch and get some food before uh, we try and go for a surf 
So we made it to Ala Moana Beach Park and we got L&L. There's L&Ls all throughout California. There's some other states, but what better place than here in Hawaii? Uh, we typically like to get the combo plates, chicken, uh, Spam Musubi, and uh, this time around we got Spam Musubi. That was a definite must. And then we got a combination platter that we could share that had barbecue chicken, short ribs, and barbecue beef. So looking forward to diving in, fueling up for the remainder of the day. Headed back to our hotel now. And we're, oh, looks like it's gonna be a fun day to sit. But we have to figure out how to get yeah. since the road. This is what happens when erosion happens, when the water comes up. It starts taking away part of the land. And so uh, that's kind of a problem. We were gonna go uh, front board to go surfing. They close early. And uh, now there's a fire. Another exciting day in my <laughs> Uh oh Oh no! What the? It's one of the statues! What the? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Playing in the shore bridge because we couldn't go surfing, but that's okay because we're still having fun. This is our favorite spot in Waikiki to just hang out in the water, play in the water, and we're not surfing. So this trip was definitely more of a relaxing trip. We knew we didn't have a lot of time um, in Hawaii. It was just a short trip, so we didn't want to cram so many things in that needed to make you relaxed. And it was fun just to go with the flow, to go on detours, and uh, see things that we haven't seen before. And it was, uh, if you didn't check my story, probably gone by now but you can check in the highlight on my Instagram. Isn't the sunset beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably try to go surfing tomorrow. Yeah we have a tradition that we go in the ocean our last day in Hawaii and we usually show up to the airport wet still. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, I remember. Oh yeah. So when we were at Haleiwa, if you haven't seen my story, it should be in my highlight cover on my Instagram, H-U-Y underscore win, 1023. And uh, yeah, it, 10 years ago, I was in Hawaii with Surfing the Nations as an intern. And at that very spot where the rainbow in the playground was when I got to help feed the hungry, love on people, and I do it with the awesome STN Serving the Nation internship class. We just finished up having dinner at Duke's Waikiki and everything was absolutely delicious. One thing that's really great in Hawaii is that they are doing contact tracing for anybody anytime you sit down in a restaurant to eat so you have to give your name phone number and where you're staying or your address and that's how they um, will I guess reach out to you if for contact tracing 
So what we had, which was great, is we had Mai Tais, of course, because we're in Hawaii. And we also had the coconut shrimp, we had the spicy wings, and the pulled pork sandwich. And it was all delicious. We were so stoked because even though they have a Duke's um, in California, this was the best place being here in Hawaii to enjoy our first Duke experience. And Duke Kanokomoko, he actually brought surfing to the mainland and just kind of brought the excitement of surfing and the culture of surfing all over. So um, if you haven't learned about him or if you don't know about him, definitely watch him on YouTube, Google him, and he really left a really great legacy and to this day that everyone um, knows of him and is inspired by him. So sometimes it's great to treat yourself to dinner and that's what we did tonight, last night in Hawaii. Tier, uh, we're gonna try and surf tomorrow. Hopefully you guys like our videos. If you haven't, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been to Hawaii, what island you like the best, and if you haven't, feel free to ask us questions. We'll be glad to help you. We did a little bit of a late dinner tonight and so now we're walking around and you can really tell how empty everything in Waikiki is. There's nobody really walking around on the streets and everything is closing earlier. This is one of our go-to spots uh, when we're visiting Hawaii or also again in Vegas because Vegas is also known as the ninth island is Honolulu Cookie Company. Um, like the sign says that uh, that they have closed all of their locations. We did see a few, um, but primarily a lot of them in Waikiki are closed. Shelves are empty, no one's working, doors are closed, and they're just doing that to ensure the safety of their employees and guests. But total bummer that uh, we weren't able to get any cookies. So for our friends and family that were expecting gifts of cookies, we're sorry, this is why we're not coming home with any. So as you can see, this street, Kalikawa, is usually jammed packed, especially here in Waikiki with tourists and you, you name it, cars and whatnot. So it's kind of uh, weird seeing it like this, but with everything going on, it's kind of how it is. Everyone's been really great here in Waikiki with their masks. If you know anything about Hawaii, you know that there are chickens all over the place in the parking lots, when you go to shopping centers, everywhere. And earlier today, we saw a mom with little chicks and one of the chicks got lost, but then it found the mom and all the rest of its siblings. And then we just found all the chickens sleeping and they're so cute, all cuddled up like on the sidewalk sleeping. Aww.